Mons 1914, The Mad Minute, is a grand tactical game that simulates the first battle between the British and Germans in World War I. The Battle of Mons was essentially a meeting engagement. Both the British and German were marching at full speed on a collision course without being really aware of the location of the other. The British only decided to halt and prepare a defence line along the Condo Canal the night before the battle. In this map from the British official history, you can see the positions of the British Expeditionary Force in red, the French 5th Army in blue on their right, and the German 1st Army to their north in green. The approach march of each German division is a green line running south-southwest. In this video, we will look at how the game handles the entry of the 17th and 18th divisions on the eastern flank using entry sleds and head of column markers. Oh, and notice this cute little airplane icon near a Mauberge. That marks the headquarters of the Royal Flying Corps, all four squadrons. The game does not include aircraft because they had no effect on the battle. The German player enters along the northern map edge on game turn one at Casteau and Tiersis. To speed play, there are entry sleds. You lay out the long divisional column and you follow that as you move on. Now, most games have you shuffling a long line of counters which takes you minutes to move and you know the knowledge is going on. Instead, we have a single counter that you can use that, my, that tracks the head of the column. And you simply move that. When eventually you get to a point where you want to deploy, then you pick them off in the order and they pop out of the head of column marker. Not so important with Casto because Casto is so close to the edge of the map, but with other places where they, for example, here on the on this flank, they often go all the way down here before they actually make contact with the British. So this particular innovation saves a lot of time. So let's move through game turn one and show the initial contact of the Germans with the British at Nimi. So let's move the Germans on turn one. So we use the entry marker, enters here, half, one, half, two, and we'll stop, and now we'll deploy. To keep track of how many movement points the column spent, I'll use a die. So two to here, you're in column. Uh, so the question is, you don't want to get close, don't want to get adjacent to the British, because while well, you're in column, because you'll take a lot of fire. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about artillery because on the first game turn there's mist, stops long range artillery fire. In any case, the, German, the British artillery is way out of position. So we'll get a bit closer in column. Three, still in column. We'll come out of column, which costs three. That's six, and six is the movement value for infantry out of column, so they stop. So I'm actually going to save time and assume that they go there. And the last one that's popped out is the artillery. And then we see here the rest are still on the sled and we'll, we'll just pull them out in order next turn. So let's move forward to the next game turn. The British, of course, don't move until the Germans become adjacent in the historical scenario. Uh, I'll emphasize that in the meeting engagements, everybody can move and it's a free for all. It's very free flowing. But historically, the British were supine. I think would be the best way to describe their reaction. So, I, without checking, I happen to know that the German orders to go take this bridge over here and then continue south. So we're going to do a loop around the outside. Possibly we could have stayed in, in column and, and got there faster, but they're going to be a little cautious. That's one, two, three, four. Now, Actually, we'll stop here because there's machine guns with a with a uh, range of two, so that would be opportunity fire at that range. Um, line of sight. This guy is lower than that guy. The this hex is lower than that, so he can choose to see through there. Village is screening, but he's in an open, so it's it's an open line of sight. That was a very quick walk through the line of sight rules. I will have a video which explains the line of sight. So we would do a fire machine gun half point at long range. Uh, it's not going to be a great shot. For the purpose of the video, we assume he misses. We assume the, the German passes his morale. 
So it goes to here, and then British would get a uh, much greater fire. It'd be one from the machine gun, a quarter from the picket, one and a quarter. The um, shifts would be minus three for moving, plus one for the village. We've met minus two. Be an okay shot. But it, this is not a fire video, this is more of an overview. So one, two, three, four, five. Now that would be a much better shot because the density's gone up. What I'm really showing here is how the Germans might choose to develop in attack and also how these entry sleds work. So he is actually limbered, of course, not column. And we're going to put him up on the hill so that he can see. Uh, artillery are attached to the, this artillery battalion is attached to that infantry regiment so they can move as long as they're no, not the closest to the enemy. So anywhere up here would be pretty good, anywhere up on this hill. So we're going to go stay limbered. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two to one limber is eight. Uh, and that's fine for field artillery. At this point, the rest of them would start to pop out because the head of the column is now there. So that would be just half one come out of column uh, we'll stay in column one two three come out of column is six and stop and so then i will lay these guys out including the machine gun behind if i was going to be very cautious i probably would not have moved them in i would have left them back develop the fire develop the attack using uh, the slightly long range machine guns um, perhaps two battalion bombs, but being you know a war gamer, I tend to attack before I'm ready. But this would be a better way to do to do to do it. Would be to set up, uh, probably have the two batteries on this flank, possibly even all three batteries of that field artillery regiment. Combine that with machine guns, and hope that the British don't blow the bridge, which would make it all pointless. So that's a fairly typical, well, that one's actually a slightly cautious German first move. But it does show the use of the uh, head of column markers and the way that they arrive. As I mentioned earlier, the other German division arrives on this road and then comes down here and rolls over the top of that company of the middle six. Later in the afternoon, the Germans then attend, attempted to uh, come in on this flank road here and then take this hill from the side but that at this point the the uh, lines of sight were very good the British artillery on the hill were actually able to stop them in this area here but earlier in the day uh, you only had platoon pickets the British artillery was out of position and you had essentially a whole corps against two battalions so that's the opening German attack Mons 1914, The Mad Minute, is available for pre-order from gntgames.com.